The four teams within the Human Science and Engineering branch are the Anthropology, Cognitive Sciences, Biomechanics, and Human Factors team. All four teams are working together to develop metrics that they're using in the lab and translating that into the field so that we can get unobtrusive data from the soldiers during their mission activities. And they come together with the common goal of trying to optimize, understand, characterize, and define the impacts that soldiers' gear, their clothing and individual equipment, has on both physical and cognitive performance. What we do is try to identify how soldier equipment and soldier load affects soldier performance and mobility. Our mission is to enhance soldier performance by trying to understand the biomechanical principles underlying soldier mobility and soldier performance while encumbered with the equipment that the soldier has to wear. The key for what we hope to do is to be able to identify what affects soldier performance which will lead to overall squad performance. Human Factors has a variety of different roles. Some of it is supporting with Human Factors subject matter expertise, and then some of it is actually providing Human Factors testing. There's some standardized tests that we perform, and then there's also user trials that we perform. As the rest of the base and other organizations within DOD are developing new items, we help to assess them and improve the designs to try to make those devices better so that they meet the needs of our soldiers better. The primary mission of the anthropology team is to maintain a database on body size of soldiers. In 2012, we completed a fairly major anthropometric survey of the United States soldier. We try to uh, maintain the database and do analysis to help the clothing designers, the equipment engineers, the vehicle designers utilize that anthropometric data to build better, more human-centric systems. The Cognitive Science team supports soldiers and small units uh, by conducting both basic and applied research, focusing on characterizing, monitoring, predicting and optimizing soldier cognition and the impact technology and design for soldiers. We can look at how workload and performance on the auditory response inhibition task and the visual target detection task, their performance changes as a function of time and as a function of fatigue. We're down at the ground level with soldiers interfacing with them. We're also interfacing with some of the world's best scientists here at Natick, working with some of the research engineering development community, and getting a chance to get our hands on some of the, some of the greatest things that's being used in combat theaters as well as what we have in the operational army used today. The fact that we have military uniformed soldiers working alongside with the engineering and the project manager and, and all the way through the acquisitions process, I think really gives the whole picture to the soldier at the ground level and provides them the best equipment possible so they can make the choice for themselves. Ultimately, we're all about the soldier and helping them complete their mission safely, efficiently, and effectively.